So we're going to get started because we're, we're a little bit behind schedule. Uh, thank you for all you to come. Uh, my name is Cheyenne, uh, last name Zhang, Z-H-A-N-G. I'm the uh, chair, chairman of the board for UC. And uh, we're going to, uh, uh, today I'm going to jointly make a presentation with uh, Dr. Jinelle Wang. Um, we're going to focus on the the theme of this convention. As you all remember, the convention theme is strengthening the community and embracing a pluralistic society. So uh, I'm going to start, and then uh, Dr. Wang is going to talk about specifically on the voting power of Asian Americans, which is as what, that's why we want to embracing the pluralistic society. So let me start to. Um, and talking about this, um, the com why we see it is not, it's a coming of a pluralistic society. So let's look at some basic uh, fact, data. I'm a, more into a big data, data science, that's my uh, current profession. So we're going to try to use data to tell stories, right? <laughs> that's what we're here for. And United States, as you know, is becoming a nation without a majority. That is not quite here yet, but in a couple of decades, that's what being forecasted. What does that mean to Asian American and to Chinese American? So if we look at this picture here, you can see that according to the Census Bureau, by 2043, the white as a race will become 50% or less. So that means American would really, by definition, truly move into a nation without a majority race. But that sounds like 20 years away, 20, more than 20 years away, but actually in reality, it is now. Why? If you look at all the babies born today, it's already 50% now white. What does that mean? That means this new generation will grow up in a pluralistic society because all their peers from school, from community, their generation would be a pluralistic society. That's important to know. So that's the urgency. Now, Chinese American community, we need to be ready. We can't wait in this democracy of American democracies. You do it for yourself, right? You can't wait for other people to do for you. You found the seed of change you have to be the change you want to see yourself. So, so what is the common interest then for all Chinese Americans, for everybody? The common interest of Chinese Americans, as we believe, we want to propose this to everyone here, is we want to achieve a multi-ethnic democracy where Chinese American community, just like any other minorities, have an equal seat at the table. That's our common interest. I don't care which party you belong, what you believe, that's the common interest. Now, to be at the table and fully participate in the political process, we need to know something. We think that first, we need to know our heritage. Because we, to, in, to sit on the table at American democracy, yes, we're proud of our 5,000 years civilization, great. But that's not your tickets to the table. We have to say we too have made significant contribution to this country in the past 200 years. So we need to know our own heritage. And as American society becoming what we all know, increasingly a data-driven society. If you don't have data, you don't exist. So we need to know our data. I don't know how many, how many of you have read a recent report by a new economy institute. They're looking at, we have about 5% of population, but we're paying, this is important, 7.1% of a total tax, including federal tax, income tax, and local tax. Very important message. If we don't use a number, you don't empower yourself, right? So we need to know our number. And as the justice just said, we just heard our federal judge, our um, 
trailblazer in this justice system just told us we need to know our right. We're also a citizen here. And more importantly, as a Chinese American community, as we all know, we also need to know our duties as a citizen. Now, the best way to achieve this goal is active civic engagement and the character building based on the best value of both Chinese, American, both Chinese and American cultures. If you look around, just the judges you know, and others, every successful Chinese American, you look at their, they have one thing in common. They all have the best value of blending of both Western and Eastern cultures. And they have the characteristic of Chinese Ameri our Chinese tradition, the best value, and also America, embracing American openness and freedom and democracy. Now, to embracing this new reality that's coming, to get ready, UC has started two signature projects I want to introduce to you. One is the Chinese, the interactive Chinese American heritage map, which will provide a digital document and archival and pass that digital asset to our next generation for what we have done for this country. Chinese, a second one is we also begin to develop a Chinese American well-being infographics. We want everything, everybody for the, com the Chinese community and the Asian American community can access data online interactively using the cloud-based technology and big data and data science instantly empower themselves. So I'm going to introduce this. So why we want to do an interactive map? We want to demonstrate, it's very important, that Chinese American experiences is also part of American history. We want to see, we want to build a bridge between young generation and leave a digital legacy to our children. It is not sufficient just to have a few books written and in the East Asian library or in the Asian library in some universities. Our next generation, very few of them actually will dig up those, and some of those even written in Chinese. So let's use the state of art technology. Give them a digital asset. They can see it on their iPhones, they can see it on their lap, tablet, and computers, any place, anywhere. And uh, sorry. also, we feel this interactive Chinese American heritage map can be a tool that united Chinese American community overall. Because every place I go to and talking about this interactive Chinese American heritage, I didn't hear anybody that against that. They said, yes, let's do it. We need to know our history. So I'm going to just very quickly, you know, um, I want to make an announcement here today. Actually, we are using this convention as the time to debut this, um, to debut this technology. This already on the internet after today, we're going to make it public. Everybody can access to it. Uh, the couple of things I want to just point it out that not only we have the map, you can see all the stuff we have about, uh, you know, 200. Uh, And John, maybe, yeah, you can turn it on. I have some to actually give you, I have, we have our technician here that can actually show this live. The, what I want to emphasize is what's different between this map is we want this map to using big data technology and cloud-based solution so everybody, including all of you, can contribute to the map. It's like a Wikipedia, but we have some evaluation process behind that. So everyone can contribute. And we're waiting, we'll receive that. Right now, we have about 300 uh, plus entries. And that's already on there, it's all interactive. By the way, everything you see here, you can automatically save it as image, as a PDF file, and you can send it, I can print it. Everything's interactive. For example, we have uh, one tab there, it's called Chinese American Heroes, where we have a close to 200 Chinese American heroes that they contribution in the various place, and one click, you'll have them. So 
that's the map. And, and the very important thing I want to um, later will share, by the way, share this, uh, the address uh, that will be on UC website and everybody can access that. I want to emphasize the, uh, the fact that we have engaged many young people, especially second generation that contribute to this map. And, uh, and then the, uh, some of them, uh, we had a, a scholarship competition in the summer. I want to highlight what they have done for us. So UC officially will release this map via its website to the public today. Everyone's invited to contribute. It is most encouraging to see many young people participate in the building, in building the map. And you see, we have sponsored a scholarship competition and we have selected three winners. I want to share it with you. For example, the first place winner is a ninth grader, Samuel Wu. And uh, he contributed many, many entries to this map. And uh, she, he's going to receive $500 scholarship from us. And this is interesting. We also have a second place winner, Ethan Burge. Burge. But you notice he's not a Chinese American coming, but he is really enjoying. He, every one of them have to actually write an essay back to me. They said wonderful things. Why they want to contribute? They want to learn about Chinese American. We're part of American history. And I have another one, first, second place, also Benjamin, also a, a non-Chinese American student. I want to see that. So this is, we're part of America. We're Chinese, we're Chinese American.